A unique view which can be created in Autodesk Fusion 360 is making a projected isometric view of a sectional view. In the drawing before you, you see there's a section and then there is a perspect isometric projected view of that section used for my parts list. You can take this a step further and actually use only the projected isometric view. This works on parts as well, as you can see. So what's the secret to this? Well, the secret is that the actual sectional view is sitting outside the drawing. If anything that is taken outside the drawing sheet will not plot. To prove that, let's just do a quick PDF of this one. And you'll see that it does not plot the sectional view outside the borders. So, how do you make this view? Well, just simply take and pick on that view, make a projected view of that section, and go into any quadrant you desire. And then place it on the sheet. Remember that this view and the section name are linked. So you'll have to move it back into place once you move it off. So just pick on it and drag it back in place. Going back to the other one, as you can see, both views have been moved off the sheet. This will work on both every section except one. Let me just take this one and delete this view. Get rid of these balloons and the section. Now, I can make a section that goes di diagonal, starting at this hole, to the center, going across this center, but I cannot make a perspective or projective view of this because the cutting line or the section line is at an angle. So if I pick on this one, make a projected view, it tells me I cannot do it. That's the only exception. Looking back at this one, you can see that there is a very complex section line, but none, it's all straight. There's no angles in it. So remember, the key to all of this is to drag the view that you don't want off the sheet and keep your section lines straight. Hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you.